With all the chaos happening in the world right now, I thought it'd be fun to play a Risk game where Russia has collapsed. And I'm going to be specifically kind of role-playing as a certain country here. I'm only going to be putting my troops right along this border right there. This is a weird map because there is no separation between Belarus and Ukraine. So I guess in this universe, Ukraine has annexed Belarus and now they're going in after Russia. So I'm gonna try to maybe get this Southern territory or maybe Central. That's really the only place I can put my troops in. And also because I'm playing in Russia, you know I had to put the Blizzards game mechanic on. This is gonna mean certain tiles are gonna be inaccessible throughout the entire match. And this is absolutely the worst one. How am I supposed to get over here? There's only one Way. you have to go through new ground. I'm already seeing how this is just a terrible idea. So I lined up right- okay, why are you all- <sighs> You're making this so difficult for me. So I can connect to Kaliningrad, which what region is that a part? That's part of the Northwestern. This is, makes no sense. Look at how many tiles are in Northwestern and you only get plus five units. Oh, maybe that's why the AI is trying to, oh yeah, oh, I see what they did. So they know the really valuable land is in Eastern Europe, not out here in Siberia or the Far East. So you don't want this stuff. This is where all the fighting is gonna take place. Maybe that blizzard locking us off from this area out East, maybe isn't too, too, bad because I mean even if you do control all of this land that's only an extra 17 units whereas this over here is 23 okay so again everyone ah uh, I was gonna go get Moscow should I get Kaliningrad I kind of want Kaliningrad I do not like this I don't like this at all I'm just gonna try to keep my forces somewhat together so that it's not too complicated oh this is blizzarded off so I'm the only person that holds territory to get to Kaliningrad so that's great because I don't have to put any extra units right there I can just leave that one stack right on top of that the whole game so in order to role play I am gonna have to get tiles out this way, but I'm not going to reinforce this stuff, which is probably how I would have played the game normally if I wasn't giving myself restrictions. This is really the valuable land that I want to take up right now. So I'm going to add 10 reinforcements. Again, Kaliningrad is super safe, so I'm going to really put things here. And I already have two units in this part of the world, in this southern port. Uh, there's also a land bridge or something like that to Volga. Look at how valuable Central is. Central has only four tiles, but it'll give you six. So this is where everyone's going to be fighting. I definitely want to reinforce there. Especially because we have two taken up right this way. Do I just want to, like, stack everyone right this way? And then maybe to attack Moscow first turn? Where's the AI putting their troops? Uh, they're doing okay. The AI hasn't put too much in the central location, so I really like that. I do need to, like, be able to hold this one down too. Oh, I don't like this guy. This guy's put four right there. I need to make sure the Kaliningrad stays safe, so I'm gonna do one there. This guy's got five! Okay, I think I go one and one, because I got one more reinforcement now. Yeah, purple's going all in. Oh, come on, purple! Well, at least I get to go first, so that's a huge advantage that I have. Oh, also, I'm playing on hard difficulty, which is gonna make things hard. I completely got obliterated last time. I think this is the easiest one to get. If we can get central right now, then we're gonna be ahead of everybody else. This also looks pretty divided in the east, so that's a good sign. All right, I'm, I think I'm going all in right here. Problem with central is that I can get attacked from so many different ways. Like, how am I gonna divide up my troops when there's a seven stack right this way? I'm probably just gonna go one and try to get Moscow right now. Hopefully not lose too much. That's not bad. And then divide it evenly. Should I do six? Yeah, because the seven stack is still to my south and this is still a three stack. So, okay, I'm going to end my phase. We have our card. We have a little, you know, bonus card. Um, there's nothing really for me to fortify. So I'll leave it there. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, of course, it's purple that's going next. Purple, chill, bro. Chill, please. Oh, he did. What did you do, purple? I did not get attacked. Oh, a lot of things happened in the east, though. That's that's fine. I'm going to have to take the L here. We're, we do need to watch blue. Blue looks like they're already about to get Siberia. And Siberia gives you seven units. I wasn't expecting someone to monopolize that land so fast. Okay, so I can get three more. We have to take this. So I'm going to put all three there. Now, I'm going to take this this turn, but I probably... I think it's likely that I don't keep it. Oh, wow, look at that. Should I go five and four? I'm gonna do five and four because these guys are gonna be safer that way. Oh, and also I get to fortify, that's right. So these units are all automatically safe. So I'm actually gonna reinforce this area. Should I do this one? Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. The beginning of this game is so crucial, it's kind of crazy. Oh, purple, whoa! Okay, so purple pretty much kamikaze all of my stuff in central. However, they've really hurt themselves because of that. Yellow has four out of the six tiles here. I'm gonna do probably nine in this area. I'm gonna attack the two stack in Moscow and then keep most back. Yeah, I'm gonna probably keep most back. Oh, orange already has something. What did you guys do? The Ural Mountains, that's plus six. We really gotta hope that blue and orange just kind of fight amongst each other. Okay, I just got kicked out. That's not good. So Kaliningrad is now at risk of being taken. Okay, well, I have to go probably here. I'll do that and then end my turn and then Moscow will probably have to reinforce 
this little guy. Hopefully I get a card bonus next turn. Just please leave me alone. Please leave me- Nope, they did not leave me alone. Why is it always purple that's messing with me? I got a problem with purple. You had to put a five stack right there, didn't you? Okay, well I don't know if I can let yellow just have this stuff. Why is there- Wait, please tell me that I can get a ma nice- Oh, it's only four plus four? That sucks. I just gotta get- more units per turn at this point, so I'm just gonna send this 13 after the 5. Oh, man. I don't feel good about this. Kaliningrad's probably gonna get, uh, eaten. I'm, I'm gonna lose that. Purple dead? Well, at least purple pretty much is dead. Oh, whoa! What the? I've never just been killed before. Yeah, gonna have to try that one again. AI is still on hard difficulty, but actually, weirdly, they didn't just, like, bunch up near the west again. They've been allowing me to take all of this territory next to Ukraine, so I guess that was more what I wanted to do in the first place. Pretty much all of my units are over here. I'm just gonna leave Siberia up for grabs. Well, besides this, because I have to go to the last tile. This is already looking much, much better because I now have three tiles in this uh, central territory. And then four out of two here? This is where I need to be careful because, um, what's the phrase? My eyes are going to be bigger than my stomach. I'm going to lose a lot of this stuff, to be honest. But I think still the number one goal should be to grab central because I can get that next turn if we're lucky. Without blizzards, that makes things a lot easier. I hated this was cut off from us. Probably made the AI do weirder things too. Yeah, so maybe I just put a giant death stack right this way and then take this tile and then begin to fortify my troops around the Ukrainian Empire. At the moment, the AI is not putting many guys over this way, so that's nicer of them. I also go first, so now wait a second. I know I can take this, so I should just fortify this land now. I'm going to put everything there. And then just take this stack and boom. All right, so we only lost one troop in that process. I'll do five and four, I guess. Okay, so central is now ours. Let's see what the AI does. Purple was my number one enemy. Because purple had just like a death wish for me, nice. I kept central, which means I'm already getting 10 units. I need to be very careful because I have a chance to run away with this thing if I uh, choose my this, this turn specifically correctly. I actually think I'm going to put the 10 in Chechnya. And then from here, attack there and just make a death uh, march straight on through. I want to keep like, can I get this? Yeah, I should be able to keep three there, take these guys there. I lost a lot of troops in that process. Do I keep this or do I move up one? If I move up one, then I can move this stack around. I think I can move up one. It's a one stack. Okay, so I didn't lose any front anything. So that keeps me safer. And now for my fortify phase, I can move this. I don't really know where I want to move this. There's a two and then there's a one. There's still three back this way. What's the next, uh, what's the next territory? Volga that I should get? Yeah, I should get Volga. Okay, so I guess I should put them all there. This Volga is probably where we're going to go after next. Uh oh, green is about to get a region. Oh, they left me alone. Okay. Yep, green has a region, so he's st now starting to get stuff. We need to get over there and break that stuff up as soon as possible. I think I'm going to split up the forces half and half. Okay, so this seven division stack here just needs to wipe out ones. That's it. You wipe out ones and you're going to be good. Boom. All right. Nice. Now we take the 12 and we go here. And maybe we go up one more just so boom. All right, so that is, we are, we are, uh, we've stopped everyone. We're cornered off pretty nicely. I'm a little bit nervous about this guy. He's one and he's up against, there's a four right there. Do I move this 13? Boom, boom, boom. That doesn't sound that good, but I think I might need to because he's going to mess everything up. I can, yeah, I think I have to do that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I didn't lose anything from that first battle. I didn't lose anything from the second battle, but I got to keep things behind now. Three stack. I mean, three stack is better than a one stack. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, we got kind of lucky there. Four and four. All right, let's see if that's what saves me. Oh, I can also fortify that. That's right. That's good. Okay, so I can move this guy to here. This is like our weak point. Okay, got to start watching green. Whoa. Oh, I forgot they could attack me from Kaliningrad. Dang it. So would I take this guy and just wipe up everybody? Yeah, I think we make two different forces here. I should be able to take out most people with... Uh, I'll do 12. All right, let's clean this up. Thanks for doing that, bro. But I guess he kind of needed to kamikaze me because me, I was going to be really powerful if he didn't do that. It was a good effort. Okay, now I take him and just one by one. Ooh, yeah, four stack. Ugh. Okay, well, these guys are ones. I also can fortify a lot. Oh, I killed yellow. Oh, that was a good idea. I didn't even realize I was doing that. Oh, that was good because that's right. This game really wants you to kill people. So now we have 10 more. Okay, that's it. I really have to keep in mind. I just need to protect this stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to move in after blue yet, but green is getting powerful. I'm going to take this eight stack and maybe move them there. Not too far away from the front lines. Man, I'd love to get another kill, but I'm not going to be able to get there. 32 units. Okay, we're just going to divide those up to like six. 16 each. Oh wait, more. Eight. Okay, I need to stop green from getting this stuff. So that's like first priority. All right, feeling pretty good about these defenses now. We have uh, this corner over this way and uh, and then we have like just a wall of 
units. Oh, I can fortify a lot back this back at home. All right, so now we just play a regular Russian colonizes Siberia game. Uh, I think except in this scenario where Ukraine, but either one. Destroyed blue. Thank you. Oh, yeah, four cards. Yes, I will take an extra 12 units. Probably put them back there. I got this massive wave of forces just like marching through everything. It's just a death wall. Okay, now wait a second. I personally have three cards on my hand. If I kill this guy, I'm going to get even more cards. I'll probably, that'd probably be enough to win the game. So I'm just going to stop thinking. Take out this shadow guy. Please tell me. Oh, okay, we did. Okay, just making sure. Did not think I was going to win that turn, but I guess once you get the ball rolling, you can just move through everything. Okay, so we played two drastically different games right there. Getting wiped out first in the first one and then completely dominating in the second one. I don't know how I should feel about this. I don't really feel redeemed that much. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip RF. Orton 563. Argentinian Alex Whitley is Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Fat, Aryan After Hours. Barnes Bring CW, Back Porn Canadian Ball, Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Louis, Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover, Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. And Mimo Shiki.